Welcome to Rudy's Reels, videos of a lifetime of activities and adventures. This video, ATV ride number two, is about our trip on Alberta's Iron Horse Trail from St. Paul to Coda Lake and return. Alberta's Iron Horse Trail is a former CN rail line active from 1927 to 2000. Now this roadbed has been turned into a 300 kilometer multi-use trail that is part of the Trans-Canada Trail. This is an adventure through the heartland of Northeast Alberta. St. Paul has a large staging area for the beginning of our adventure on the former CN rail line. Our ride is a side-by-side -side Polaris Razor XP 1000. The trail through St. Paul soon takes us into a mix of woodland and open country. Beautiful canola and wheat fields. Abilene Junction, West Branch to Smoky Lake, the Northeast Branch to Coal Lake. The Northeast Branch appears to be more woodland and sloughs. The Clover Roadside is beautiful and fragrant. The paved bike path extends for many kilometers next to the ATV track. The roadway through the towns and villages displays well-maintained yards and trimmed roadsides. Our warming summer has helped the greening bloom of our water bodies. A burnt out area of swampland. Town of Bonneville with convenient eatery and refreshment outlets next to the Iron Horse Trail. A healthy looking cornfield. This roadway is also used for buried water lines to service the towns and villages. As a result, this section of trail has been graded more than other parts of the trail. We meet other ATVers. The pipe cattle gates mean we don't have to stop to open and close gates. This is the west side entrance to the trestle which crosses the Beaver River, the most exciting part of our trip.
This trestle is one kilometer long and 60 meters high and is a highlight of the Iron Horse Trail. I want to see the underside structure of this trestle. The south side trail down to the bottom of the valley is steep and rough. A very impressive wood structure with a steel section that spans the Beaver River. A father-son adventure. There is a trail on the north side of the trestle, so we decided to use this trail to get us back up to the trestle west entrance. Not a good move, no exit, and a very narrow ledge with minimal room for a turnaround. But we feel we can do a turnaround with the help and safety of a winch. This trip is turning out to be a, a bit more challenging than I had anticipated. Finally turned around and ready to go back down the valley the way we had come. But I decided to stay next to the trestle entrance and wait for my son to come back up the south side of the trestle. That's a long, long way down. Back on top, ready to go across the trestle. A kilometer long and 60 meters high overlooking the Beaver River. A 
bit of swampland and forest. Approach to Coal Lake staging area, the end of the northeast section of the trail. The trail riders standing next to what looks like the skeleton of the former train station. Entrance to the Beaver River Trestle East Side. Villages of Ardmore, Glendon, and Malig. The Giant Pierogi at Glendon. The travel speed of our UTV varied from 30 to 57 kilometers per hour, depending on the condition of the roadway. Back among the canola and grain fields. St. Paul Roadway, Walking Trail, and ATV Trail. RV Park, Trout Pond, next to the St. Paul Staging Area. A very enjoyable adventure. Hopefully, later this year, we can schedule a trip from St. Paul to the West Branch of Alberta's Iron Horse Trail.